Alright everyone, the next game that we're going to break down is a uh, series of games. The series, the Bedlam series, between Oklahoma State and the University of Oklahoma. will be played championship weekend, since there's no Big 12 championships. It's going to be played on December the 1st, 2013. This year the game will be played in Stillwater, Oklahoma, at OSU. Uh, their head coach is Mike Gundy. Uh, they they finished with an eight and five record. Did the other Gundy last year with a five and four record overall in the Big Twelve Conference. Eight and five overall, as I said, tied for third place in the Big Twelve. Last year they uh, lost a stunner. Uh, they lost a uh, uh, just a shell of a game to Purdue, fifty eight to fourteen in the heart of Dallas Bowl which is played in the uh, Cotton Bowl where OU Texas play every year. That's the that's the bowl they now host, the uh, Heart of Dallas Bowl. Uh, the offensive player that will be missed on this team, Joseph Randall. 274 carries last year for 1,417 yards, 14 touchdowns, a long of 69 yards that came against their in their uh, stunning loss to Texas. That shouldn't have happened, by the way. Defensively for the other Gundy, Alex Elkins finished with 75 tackles last season, zero picks, zero forced fumbles, and one fumble recovery for the Cowboys. Uh, last year, Mike's OSU Cowboys finished with a 45.7 points per ball game average. In the history of Bedlam, Oklahoma owns the overall record 83-17-7. 13 and 5 in Big 12 play uh, for uh, Bedlam. Uh, quarterbacks, uh, uh, the quarterback for Oklahoma State next year will probably be J.W. Walsh. He played well last year. He finished with uh, 1,564 yards passing, 13 touchdowns, a long as 74 in their, re their revenge game over Iowa State in Stillwater. Uh, the running backs that will help replace Joseph Randall, well, one of them is going to be Jeremy Smith. He had 70 carries last year for 971 yards, 8 touchdowns, 23 was his long, and that came in the game at Arizona. Uh, the other running back won't be a running back. It'll be the quarterback, J.W. Walsh. He had 50 carries last year for 290 yards, 7 touchdowns. His long of 50 came in that stunning loss to Texas. Uh, wide receivers. Uh, J.W. Walsh is going to be throwing the ball to a couple of guys like, uh, well, how about Josh Stewart, who had 101 catches last year for 1,210 yards and seven touchdowns, including a 75-yard touchdown pass in Bedlam at Oklahoma. The other receiver on the other side will have to be Blake Johnson, who had 29 catches for 598 yards, three touchdowns, a long 58. And that one came against the University of Louisiana of Lafayette. Uh, defensively for Oklahoma State and the other Gundy, uh, Dayton Bow was going to be at the guy that they trust. He had 75 total tackles last year, two picks, one forced fumble, and one fumble recovery for Oklahoma State. And that's going to have to be their guy to pick it up off the defensively. Uh, they didn't have a lot of defense play last year. They scored a lot of points. So that's kind of their motto is to outscore you, kind of like Le Le what Leach did. And that's what Mike Gundy is going to try to do is outscore you. Uh, this has been the OSU OU Bedlam Breakdown. The game will once again be played on December the 1st. Championship end. Uh, see you next time. Sooner Nation. And as always, boomer sooner, everybody.